for you, for you personally, how's everything been going uh, practice-wise? Everything's been going good. Yeah. Yeah. I know you have pretty good Bahamas grip. Has that, has that team to kind of uh, carry over? Yeah, it's been carry over for practice. You know, I've had a couple good practices, you know, just trying to go hard, you know, just trying to do what Coach wants me to do, and just trying to do it in the team aspect, you know, uh, just playing for one another, you know, we're just brothers and whatnot. Yeah. Um, I know there's a lot been made about the bond, uh, coming back from the Bahamas and everything. You all were very close. Has that, kind of, has that continued to kind of carry over once practice has gotten going and everything? Yeah, you know, we're such a close team. You know, the bond is always there. It's tough to break it. Um, we just do everything together on the court and off the court. Um, what about the platoon system? How, is that going to be easy to do, you think, or are you just going to have to see how it kind of works out, the, the platoon system Cal's been talking about? Um, I think it's going to be good. You know, we got we got 10, 12 uh, guys that can play it, um, that can play here. You know, uh, we got such great talent, you know, um, confidence whoever's out there can uh, perform. Is it a lot of fun playing with so many good players? Yeah, it is. You know, you always change up the lineup, you know, you never know what to expect. Mm -hmm. um, has anybody kind of surprised you? Uh, coming in, in with their play? Um, you know, people forgot how good Willie was and when he stopped practicing with us, you know, uh, we forgot how good he was and then he started practicing and like, you just start remembering. Now, I know Trey didn't get to play uh, on the Bahamas trip and he's, have, have you been kind of impressed with his play? Yeah, he's been playing good, you know, he's been doing uh, doing things well, he's been shooting it good, um, getting off transition, just doing what he needed to do. What about the combine? What did you think of that? It was great, you know, uh, great experience, you know, I'm glad we uh, got a chance to experience that. Um, I feel like it helped guys, you know, when doing the drills, doing the three on three and the five on five, you know, and then practicing really. I feel like it was great for us. What about you individually? How do you think you kind of helped you? Did you see some things you need to work on? Did you get any kind of feedback on that? Um, yeah, I think I did good. You know, uh, I think I did good in the drills and whatnot and during three practice, you know, and now we're just really uh, getting ready for uh, practice and uh, getting ready for the game. Are you kind of glad to get that over with so there won't be – as many scouts coming in, in and out like normal, it's kind of do it all at once? Uh, I guess so. I mean, it depends how you look at it. You know, some people like scouts coming in all the time, you know, but uh, we're just trying to get focused and practice, trying to do what we need to do so we can uh, start playing the games. What about you? Did you like it that way? Or I mean, does it not really matter? It really doesn't matter, to be honest. Coach Cal was talking about the two platoon system and how you know, most veteran coaches think you have to play six. Do you think there's any issue with? As much talent as you have. I mean, no. If you have this many talent, why not play ten? Why not play twelve? You know, if people deserve to play. Let them play. Mm -hmm. Do you? Uh, are you a generous person? Are you willing to, to sit and let other guys play? I mean, yeah. Everybody on this team is generous. We all we all sacrifice for each other. That's what we need to do. Mm -hmm. You think he'll stick to the platoon? You think Cal can stick to it? Or we'll see how long it lasts. I think I think he can. You know, everybody does what they're supposed to do. I think it'll last. What do you see as the advantages of the constant fresh bodies? Um, pressing, getting up and down the floor, defense really, uh, defensive pressure really. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you think when you first heard of that that plan? Um, I thought I thought it could work. I mean, we proved down the Bahamas that it could. So we're just trying to uh, continue it really. What's the adjustment for you? I mean, knowing you're not likely to get as many minutes. I mean, no adjustment. You know, just going there, playing hard, playing as hard as you can, and just uh, performing when you're out there. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. you. You and Willie feel like the old guys. I mean, do y'all get old man jokes or anything? You no, know? nah, we don't get no old man <laughs> jokes. We're really like a year older than yeah. these guys, so <laughs> it's really not that we're not that much older than them or anything like that. You know, so we pretty much all feel the same age for real. I feel like you know what to expect being your third season. I mean, you know, third time around, that does that make you feel more comfortable going into the year? Yeah, it makes you feel more comfortable. Comfortable. You know what to do. You know what to expect. You've been there, done that. Um, playing NCAA tournament, playing the national championship game, so there's not really much more you can do. Um, so, uh, like, yeah, there's really no more pressure now. We just have to go and perform now. We know what to do. How much drive do you guys have coming back, uh, falling one game short? Of kind of what was, you, what was your all's goal? How, how much drive do you all have now? I mean, that's what's driving is really, you know, we got so close, you know, uh, a couple free throws, a couple backs just short of uh, winning the whole thing, you know. So we're just trying to get back there and trying to feel it, use it as our motivation. I know expectations are going to be sky high. Do you think you all are going to be able to handle all that? I mean, they're sky high every year, but this year really seems to be. Yeah, um, expectations are we're going to be here when you come to uh, Kentucky. You know, this is how it is here. You know, you just got to deal with it. But I think we'll be able to handle it well um, once we start gelling together as a team.